Today guys I got to fly the Shark Aero over a little snore in Stewart Farm, um, I think it's Light Aviation. They invited me over to go and have a fly and guys, this thing was awesome. Uh, first my brother and my brother, my wonderful brother, actually came with me. We flew over there, just an hour's flight from Canuck, well 14, 50 minute flight from Canuck. Um, beautiful day really just superb weather we got up to just below 11,000 feet my brother and I just soared over all the clouds come down there and got to land and then got to fly that wonderful machine I must say I am smitten with that side stick I didn't know how I'd feel about it but it just feels really intuitive uh, the aircraft feels a, a little bit like the Sting I must admit it's got that same carbon fiber rigid feel but the thing rotates around, the axis rotates around yourself rather than, you know, you being slightly to the side. Visibility, absolutely amazing because you can look straight down both sides. Um, but we're going to show you this video and um, yeah, just have a look at it yourself. It's a wonderful bit of kit. Um, considering this thing is actually a microlite, it's not actually a part non-part 21. It is a microlite and mate, it is incredible. Stuart, absolute wonderful instructor. As soon as we got up there, he says, you have control. He showed me how to use the autopilot. I've never used an autopilot, much less a variable pitch prop. So now it's, it is just very intuitive. I'm having obviously an autopilot, Lord willing, and um, a variable pitch prop just about, about to be fitted on mine. So today has been really valuable for me, but guys, if you get a chance, get out to Little Snoring, go and fly this machine. It is something special. I mean, um, it flies like a Spitfire. That's the best way to put it. It does, as you know, you've seen in my other video, I had the pleasure of flying the Grey Spitfire. It does fly a little bit like a Spitfire. It's like a little fighter jet. But yeah, but let's have, I'm going to have a look at this video. Let's go and look at this video and see what you think. Yep, side. okay. It's ain't that bad getting in, to be honest. That's careful. It's a bit of a knack, so you yeah. you've done it a couple of times, then it's quite Oh, easy that's comfortable. So, the seat, wow. if you're a bit too high, the seat, you can push that, it's quite sharp, though, a bit of water, yeah. so it goes... It goes down, so... It, yeah, it's quite a sudden Yeah, kind of like it. What you need to be able to do is to be able to see this... The cow, yeah, 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 I can so see that. Yeah, it's perfect. Rudder pedals, are they too far away or they, do they need to come closer to you? No. I think I've got them on the third position That's away. That's perfect. Because so right, they've got individual rudder pedal adjustments. Wow. So you've got one long leg and one short leg gear by. What? <laughs> <laughs> they have thought of everything. It's really well thought out. They've thought of the little things, haven't they? Yes, that is it, yeah. This is actually a really comfortable place. Oh, I, I want to sit in it now. <laughs> once, honestly, when I first time I thought, cool, I don't know if I can sit in that for hours on end. But you actually, do. once I've got in, yeah. I've flown, I thought, this is lovely. So it's it's almost like a fighter jet layout, yes, isn't it? You've it got is, got yeah. This thing here. Yeah. Need your ground speed. Yeah. Obviously, your artificial horizon, your compass. The little blue bug hair is on the head and track hair for this the one, autopilot. Yeah. Oh right, okay. Um, so when you twist it around, yeah. and actually if you push the button in, yeah. it'll go onto the track ahead of at the moment. Oh, okay. Um, you, obviously your altimeter and your pressure, mm -hmm. and at the top of here, yeah. 
you will get when we've got the autopilot on it it will show up blue yeah and then you can set on this dial here your altitude, your altitude that you want to go to brilliant uh vertical speed on this side yep obviously outside air temperatures so, yeah and then your map on here obviously we're here yeah to adjust the zoom in and out if you twist the dial on this side yeah okay yeah um and you will also get on here the TCAS as well, so you'll see other traffic. Yeah. You come up with a little black oh, diamond with a little um, orange arrow telling you which direction they're pointing, yeah. and it will tell you plus or minus uh, a number, and that's how many feet they, feet are, they are away from you. Yeah, a bit like the Sky, we've just used uh, yeah. Sky Demon basically. Yeah. Uh, so, oil pressure and oil temp, Yeah. you'll see they'll glow um, yellow until the engine's up to temperature and you'll see on the rpm there's a very small, small green amount. range yeah as soon as the temperature becomes okay and yeah. the system knows the engine the green dial goes round to the largest version yeah uh cylinder um egt so the exhaust gas temperature is on the bottom okay t fuel is temperature inside the fuel tanks oh okay <laughs> t mot is temperature inside the cowl cowl okay um They've got them fitted on this aircraft because obviously they fly in Norway and in hot countries yeah. as well. Ah, uh, right, that so makes they, sense. They, they get a lot of vapor locking in a lot of hotter countries. Yeah. Um, so they put the temperature sensor on top of the cow over here. Okay. We don't have that so much issue. What uh, engines in this? Uh, 912 ULS, a so standard carburetor. Carburetor, okay. Um, CO at the bottom there. And you'll see, don't be alarmed, when you first start up, it'll suddenly go red. Yeah. And then it'll come back down come to back zero down. again because okay. it's doing self-calibration. Yeah. Manifold pressure. I don't know if you've ever used to it. Um, in, the Cess in the Cessna, what? no, not variable pitch, no. Okay. Literally just bought one for that. I have you? Okay. Literally just bought one for Is that. Is it going to so. be electronically controlled? Yeah, just one? electric okay. one, yeah. So this one's hydraulic, so this one's operated here. Yeah. And I'll operate it from the rear seat anyway. Oh, okay. So the manifold pressure on the ground, prop fully forward your throttle works yeah. exactly the same as it'll work in that yeah in the air as soon as i pull the propeller back it'll lower the rpm, RPM. but the manifold pressure will stay the same, same. and then the throttle then swaps over and that operates manifold pressure ah it's very complicated okay. to get your head around mm -hmm. bring the rpm back to 5000 because you always operate the prop first yes um and then i'll bring the throttle back to 26 inches of manifold pressure as we climb you'll find the manifold manifold pressure up. Is that the, the, the altitude? Yes, the pressure difference. Pressure difference yeah. Yeah, it, it works old fashioned cars used to have manifold pressure mm. and the wiper blades used to go really slow at a higher altitude. <laughs> 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 um, so I'll, I'll explain a lot of this when the engine's running and we're yeah. sort of in flight. Uh, fuel, obviously fuel pressures here and then fuel left and right tanks so we've yeah. got enough for an hour and 45 minutes yeah okay um, I wouldn't worry so much about the main litres an hour and the time was an ETH I haven't calibrated it yet yeah. it'll read 24 litres it's actually burned about 18 okay uh, this will be your trim and the little green arrow yeah or the green line sorry and the white arrows is where it is at the moment the green line is for your takeoff trim oh this this one here yeah you see this just here oh right so back aft and forward, yeah, forward trim it, yeah so the little green line yeah. is the takeoff trim. So we'll put them two little white arrows on the takeoff trim. On the trim. takeoff trim. Obviously your battery voltage and your amps. Oh, okay. And then it's just your air time here. And obviously there's you've got to count to eight for having me in the front, the ballast. Yes, yeah, so the ballast weight is actually in the front at the moment. Yes. Um, and that'll light up here with yeah. the passenger. Yeah. Or if I put it in the baggage bay, it'll light up with pilot. Oh, no. ah, okay. Just sold for me. <laughs> There's another one on that That's side as well. Sold. That's <laughs> fantastic. That is. It's something so small. It's just simple. It's just like a little grommet. Yeah, but you know, so <laughs> makes so much a difference. Yeah, it, it's just it's there. So yeah. you can just slide your pen pencil in. And you get a service log chip thing to go in there. Yeah. So this does the landing gear service because of the landing gear won't work on the ground. It's not a weight on wheels sensor on this like you get on a GA aircraft. Yeah. It works on airspeed. Oh, okay. So you have to have airspeed going in the pitot to get the gear to operate. Yeah. So if you don't have 53 knots of speed, the gear won't uh, retract itself. Brilliant. Makes sense. Yeah. Um, and if you're under that, obviously it won't retract. If you're over that, you can do what you like with it. Brilliant. So 
we have a, a special key that we have to put in there so when we're doing a service and we jack the aircraft off the floor we can put the special key, key to operate, to the, operate gear. the gear so, so, it makes, it makes, the so it makes that connection yeah, um, above 50 knots that, yeah you, it thinks that it's in the air yeah but we'll ask you to just put that on when we're down the bottom no, there, no, so we'll do the run-up checks wonderful so just press the brake so pull it literally on. yeah put, you can switch that on and then just pump the brakes the a few times i've got brake in the back unfortunately in the back they're not tow brakes it's just a hand lever so uh, i'm off on the hand lever yeah I'll just pump the um, brakes. Which makes life awkward because I don't have this, but I have a handbrake there yeah. instead. So uh, I, have, I need to be an octopus to yeah. try and work it in the back seat. <laughs> I like the fact that the rudders are as stiff as mine. I thought it was just. You'll no. find, yeah, in flight, you won't need hardly any rudder to fly yeah, the aircraft. Yeah. It is literally all on the stick. Okay, yeah. Um, it's only the rudder is only really there for take off <laughs> it's a similar thing yeah right? it is quite stiff the rudder on yeah. it's got huge springs on okay, it okay yeah so yeah but that's brilliant and i get, this is for the obviously so to see this the, is for the landing yeah, for gear your landing gear it's a real job to see that that front one the, but you can actually see yeah you can see the ones well. yeah you, yes i can see your finger there's two flags there. yep can see them Yep, I can see the flags. Yeah. And then the same in here as well. Mm -hmm. Here's your mad farmer. The there you side. go, yeah. Uh, and it's the same in there and yeah. on the other side. Yes, I can see the triangle. Yep. Yeah. Yep, I can and see the triangle. Once I've got the gear up, there'll be a little green light that will show here to say the gear is it's up locked. and locked. Fantastic. That's yeah. really. So, yeah, they've, they've literally thought of everything. Wow. How much does a wing tank hold? Uh, 75 litres a side, 150 litres in total. Seventy-five liters aside, it's, you can go solo for eleven and a half hours. Wow! <laughs> it's Gosh, one thousand eight hundred nautical miles. Gosh, because the wing tanks for those things only twenty-two liters. Yeah. That's 70, <laughs> seventy-five well, liters. That's seventy-five that's liters in this tank, and seventy-five liters in that tank. That's as much as my. That's nearly as much as the main tank. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Yeah, it, that's it's, a, this is awesome. I'm impressed. Yeah, I'm just stuck in yeah. there. <laughs> I'm um, impressed. Yeah, so yeah, 1,800 nautical miles you can do. 1,800 on a tank. Oh gosh. Oh, my bladder ain't gonna last that No, it's no, not gonna go. Fact. Yeah. <laughs> I know that for a fact. That there's no. I mean, I'll spend three and a half hours in there, and I'll want the land to go to the toilet. No way. That's how they did the that lad did the round the world they, flight, wasn't it? Yeah, like, that yeah, they both done. A brother and sister. Sister, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah it's, I like the shape yeah. of the wing as well. I really do. And if you want to go further, they do actually a bag tank that goes on the rear, on the rear seat. seat. So you can add more fuel into it. It's incredible. Through the autopilot. So yeah. obviously in flight you'll see this will come up with the altitude once we reset that on here. Yeah. And I'll ask you to go across to the, the buttons. Yeah. So we'll set what track we want and you'll hit the heading button. Yeah. And then you'll hit the altitude button. Yeah. And that will go to that altitude. But it won't climb to that until you tell it vertical speed and how fast you want it to climb or descend oh, to that. Right. So then we'll hit VS and we'll say we want to go up at 600 feet a minute. Know. Once you've done that, hit the AP button, yeah. it will switch it on, it will head on that track and it yeah. will climb up to whatever altitude you've selected, say 4,000 feet, yeah. and it will climb up 500 feet a minute Minutes. that you've asked it to. And then once you get to that height, it will level itself off and it will just continue on that track. Brilliant. Change the head and you just literally twist your bug round. Yeah. And you can see the the blue oh, line on there. Oh, fantastic! So yeah, I can yeah. go. Oh, I want to go on that direction. Head to that airfield there. Yeah, yeah. And then the blue line will disappear. Look. Yeah. And it will then start the aircraft turn. And you don't have to activate direction. it either. No, just just, just turn the head in. Just literally turn on the head and. Fantastic. And off it goes. You, if you got fly with Sky Demon, like you said. Yeah. This system has Wi-Fi built into it. So I can ping my route across to this when I get to the oh aircraft way. in the morning. It will put a purple magenta um, magenta line on the screen, um, and then it will literally, if I hit the the V nav button, yeah, it will literally follow that route for me.